you know the tricks in the trade that musicians don't never really want to show each other, you know. Good question to my man, Tim. Especially when you're the key of E flat. You know, you always try to figure out ways to not play so normal. Well, I say the way to play uh, real smooth and to get out of your compass all too is just, like I say, start messing around. You know, when you're in E flat, and it's good to play regular notes, don't get me wrong. But then oftentimes you want to change, you know, when you got different singers. But the tricks that people never show you, like you hear that a lot. You hear those off things you know you be trying to figure out. And that's what I say like when you're in the key of E flat. And I'm just taking this chord for instance. It's a G, C, and an F. Now when you're on that C with your second finger, you can tap that D flat to that D, back to the D flat to the C, to get that feel. You know, even when you go to D flat, and that's a C and the an F. And I was just tapping the G flat with the G. So, especially when you go into a sound, I'm gonna show you why this is important. Just say like we use a, a roll sound like a Fender. You know, you wonder how they get that neo sound. So you hear that now. You hear it with the piano, but it wasn't the same effect as I did with this rose. So just say we was going from E flat to F. I'm just using the A flat major seven. You know why I'm on that F. I'm sorry, I meant to say from E flat to A flat. So just a whole different feel. So that's how they do that. Even if, it don't matter what key you're in, let's go to C. C, so instead of regular using a regular C, take an E, A, and a D. And your second finger kind of always leads you to that. You notice when we was in E flat, our second finger went from the C, D flat to the D. So now that I'm in the key of C, my middle, my second finger gonna go from the A to the B flat to the B. Even if you were just grooving. they be tapping those notes and you even hear something like this you know and that's just tapping I call it tapping I don't really know the technical name but it gives you that flavor and you hear this you hear those little movements a lot Sorry. I did that backwards. So just some little things you can do to put flavor in your music. That's coming from the B flat A to the A flat to the G. You can do that in any key. So we're talking about E flat in the key of C. That's coming from the C, B, B flat to the A. So if you went to your A flat major 7. You can do it so many different ways. You notice an E flat in the key of E flat. It sounds off, but it still can go. The one you should really do should be the F to the E to the E flat to the D. So, them little tricks, you know, tapping those notes. And you know, if we was regular playing, we'll do like an E flat, B flat, and another E flat. But like I say, you can just start switching notes up, E flat, B flat to a D. 
even in your run.